Continuing to field questions for Yosemite, I have a student asking the most important topic he should study for his step one exam. I know some of you are studying for step two, okay, so I'll also mention that, but for step one specifically, and I can give you a very solid answer here that many of you are not expecting, okay? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Announce the clip. So students asking that most important topic for step, and I'll address this for step one and step two very quickly. And I said that it's not going to be an answer many of you will anticipate, which is that you need to know fucking endocrine very fucking well. Okay? Endocrine. We're talking aldosterone, high versus low, ADH, high versus low, PTH, vitamin D, okay, acid base as well, the hypothalamic pituitary hormones. You need to know high yield endocrine <clears throat> very fucking well, okay? And I've harped on this in prior clips, how high yield arrows, my PDF, if you know that, that's highly specific for ruling you in for doing well on step, for passing step one, okay? Now, of course, the bulk of the step one percentage-wise is PATH, which is very broad in general, okay? Because it spans many organ systems and basic sciences. Okay, we got PATH for neuro, cardio, pulm, et cetera. So it's hard to consolidate on PATH apart from just doing QBank longitudinally over a period of time. But if we're talking about if you're in dedicated especially, you don't have tons of time, and you say, well, what should I really patch up? The answer is your fucking endocrine, okay? I want you going through high-yield arrows, and there's other stuff in there, the shock arrows uh, for the different cardiovascular parameters, even some heme, bleeding time, PT, PTT, etc. I want you to know high-yield arrows very fucking well, all right, for your endocrine. For step two, it's going to be internal medicine and surgery if you have to over-index, okay, uh, compared to the other uh, subject areas such as peds, obs, and gyne, etc. Students tend to freak out about peds, obs, and gyne because those are more novel for step two in that you, can have, you could have done very well in step one. And then step two, it's like, well, you haven't seen a lot of peds before, okay? So but internal medicine, surgery, that's the bulk of the step two exam. So if you're in dedicated, let's say, and you don't have much time and you're going to focus on a certain subject or too late, I want you to knock out the clinical mastery series forms for IM and surge especially. Okay. That's the short clip. We're not going to make this a 46 minute discussion for step one. I just want you to know that you're fucking endocrine. Very important. Go through the high yield arrows. I'll link it below. And for step two, I want you to know internal medicine and surgery. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. I feel like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.